Hey everybody, my name is Paul Lesden Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel, YouTube.com. Do you know it yet? Uh, slash Boy Green 25 baby, for all kinds of New York Jets juicy content. Make sure you like the video and hit subscribe down below. So the new news came out on Monday, February 20th, that the New York Jets fired a new wide receiver coach by the name of Zach Azaney, formerly of the Denver Broncos. He replaces Miles Austin, who uh, broke the NFL's uh, suspended for violating the league's gambling policy. Ultimately, the Jets were going to keep him. Then they ended up moving on and replacing him entirely. As soon as Zaney moved over, the natural connection by Jet fans is, okay, well, who from his past could all of a sudden join the team? And, well, we didn't have to go far because NFL information broker, he prefers that term for NFL insider, Benjamin Albright, who covers the Denver Broncos, proposed a trade of his own. And I'm going to be honest, it's so crazy. And it came from the Broncos' side that I want to sign up, so I'm going to throw it up here on the big screen. But we also have a full article about this down below. And this is between a trade that could be between the New York Jets and the Denver Broncos. Benjamin Albright threw this hypothetical trade a hypothetical trade out there. He also said, if the Jets get Aaron Rodgers, which is another story for a different day, but let's focus on the trade, that the Jets would send Zach Wilson, the former number two overall pick quarterback, and wide receiver Denzel Mims in exchange for Cortland Sutton and a 2024 fourth. And he asked, who says no? Uh, as we're recording this, this has over 20,000 votes uh, on social media. And I just have to say this. If the Jets can do this, this may be the greatest Joe Douglas trade of all time. I, I know there's been some good ones. Jamal Adams has been good. Others have been pretty good. But this, let's go through the pieces of the puzzle here real quick. And again, we have a full article down below. Diving into this in more detail, feel free to check it out. We appreciate the support for Heavy on Jets. Wink. But Zach Wilson, okay, the former number two overall pick quarterback, while he's got potential in all these other things, he hasn't shown enough in the first two years, so much so that the Jets are going out of their way to bring in some expensive veteran quarterback. So, you know, moving on potentially from Zach Wilson is kind of here or there if you get some level of value. And then Denzel Mims a guy that I think we all liked when he was drafted. And the Jets traded back to get Denzel Mims out of Baylor in the second round. But he hasn't really shown much, and he's heading into the final year of his contract. So Joe Douglas can wave his magic wand and turn what appears to be a quarterback bust and what appears to be a bust at wide receiver into bippity boppity boop, Cortland Sutton. And for people who don't know Cortland Sutton, let me just potentially refresh your memory here on this guy. He would bring some size to the New York Jets receiving core because there's a lot of uh, words, a lot of chatter out there. But the New York Jets could move on from Corey Davis this offseason. And if they do, they could bring another big body guy in that would certainly make a lot of sense in Cortland Sutton, who is six foot four and 215 plus pounds. He still has three years left on his $60 million contract he signed back in November of 2021. He's 27 years of age. And there are a lot of trade rumors floating around him. Uh, Lindsey Jones of The Ringer appeared on the Athletic podcast and said, quote, there's been some buzz around him in Denver that he could get traded. His name has been buzzing a little bit. It as a guy who could be moved, end quote. So Cortland Sutton could be on the move. And I floated it out yesterday that maybe Jerry Judy could be that guy. I'll uh, throw that up on the screen here in just a moment as another guy potentially. And the reason why I brought him up, and again, I, I prefer the size of Sutton personally as we were talking about it among fans, but I just kind of tweeted it out as soon as the Azani news uh, kind of came out there. And that's an easy jersey swap because we remember a uh, shout out to the draft network look at that jerry judy and the jets jersey that was potentially possible in that rich wide receiver class back in the day and imagine that tantalizing trio garrett wilson elijah moore jerry judy but to be honest whether it was jerry judy or Cortland sutton who is much more proven and bigger I, I don't know. I am intrigued, baby. And wide receiver, as we've talked about before, is a sneaky need for this team. Give them Jerry Judy. Give them Cortland Sutton. You knew that when the when the Broncos decide to pay all those guys, well, Jerry Judy was a first-round pick, but outside of him. So first-round pick, so reasonable contract anyway. Cortland Sutton got the bag. Tim Patrick got the bag. Not everyone can you know coexist for long when you're throwing that kind of money around at wide receiver. Eventually, someone's going to have to move, and it looks like Cortland Sutton and could be that guy again if somehow some way joe friggin douglas was able to make this happen 
build a second statue for Joe Douglas. We built him a statue for the Jamal Adams thing. We may have to build him a second statue, as I saw one fan say. So, guys, uh, make sure you check it out below. You can check out the full trade proposal, some more Cortland Sutton details, and also some of the best reaction from Jets Twitter. And you guys are freaking fantastic. And I laughed at some of the responses down below as well. We pulled the best social media reactions from this trade. What do you think? Do you believe that the Jets could get a guy like Cortland Sutton? And what could that do for the offense? Imagine in that hypothetical scenario, Benjamin Albright said the Jets have Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers? Garrett Wilson? Elijah Moore? Cortland Sutton? Oh, my. It could be incredibly sexy. Again, we're talking a lot of quarterback trades this offseason, but perhaps we should start looking at other positions like a sexy wide receiver being added in 2023. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in for this quick vid. Like I said, make sure you like the video. Hit subscribe down below for more juicy New York Jets content. And I'm looking forward to diving into your comments on what you believe about this proposed Cortland Sutton Jets trade. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.